Hey guys, welcome to Crypto in Action. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can short Bitcoin and any other crypto on Binance. What is Binance? For those who don't know, Binance is an exchange that allows you to buy and sell cryptocurrency. You can also trade cryptocurrency on Binance. Okay, it's really one of the best exchanges out there. I've been using it ever since I got into crypto. And it's pretty, pretty easy to use. So yeah, now the first thing you want to do is if you don't have a Binance account, just go to Binance.com and create an account. It's very easy to create an account with Binance. It literally takes five minutes or less. Now, once you have your Binance account, you might need to do some verification and all that, you know, once you've done all of that, now you need to deposit some money into your Binance account. There are three ways to add money in your Binance account. So if you go on the far top here, so on the homepage of Binance, okay? If you go to the far top on the left side, you'll see where it says buy crypto. Okay, so when you touch that, there'll be a drop down menu. It will show you the three ways where you can add money into your Binance account. The first way is with credit card or debit card. The other one is P2P trading. You're basically getting the money from another person, you know, another Binance user. Okay. And then there's an, also the third party option here okay in this video i'm not really going to walk you through these steps on buying the crypto you know because it's going to make this video way too long and i want to make this very quick and easy i just want to show you how you can short bitcoin so if you don't know how to add money into your binance account just go on youtube and search up a video on how to do that but yeah, if you guys want, I can also make a separate video on how to do this. Okay, just let me know in the comment section if you want me to walk you guys through it, but um, it's really not that hard, okay? By the way, when you are adding money to your Binance account, the money that you're adding is basically cryptocurrency. So you're converting the currency that is used in the country that you are currently living in. Okay. So you're converting that currency to crypto and the crypto that you buy. Okay. The crypto that you're buying or converting your currency to is USDT. So you want to convert your currency from the country that you're living in, convert that currency to the crypto that is called USDT. I'll show you a quick example of what I mean here. So let's say you go here, uh, buy crypto, and then on the drop down menu, you select credit, debit. Okay, we select that option, and then it will bring us to this page. Okay, so you see where it says spend. So this is the money that you're spending to buy the cryptocurrency. So this would be the currency of your country. So for me, it's the Canadian dollar. So I select Canadian dollar. However, if yours is not Canadian dollar, you just want to click on this and then you'll see a drop down menu of all the currency that Binance accept. Okay. So if you see yours, just select that. And then after that, the receive section, this is the crypto that you want to convert your currency to. So when you click this one, you know, the Default option is BTC, but you can change that. You want to change that to USDT. So just search USDT and then boom, select that. And then you're ready to go. So just put the amount that you would like to spend here. And then it will tell you how much USDT you receive from them, from that amount. So for example, if I want to spend 500 Canadian, it will tell me 500 Canadian will give me 366 USDT. So once I've done that, then I click continue and then I enter my credit card information and then boom, I have myself some USDT. So once you've done that, now you are almost ready to trade. Now, the next thing you need to do is go to the section that allows you to trade okay so this is what we're going to do we want to select derivatives so if you go to the top here you see where it says derivatives so hover on that okay and on the drop down menu you want to select usdt and futures now it will bring you to this page and this is basically the marketplace this is where you can short Bitcoin, you can long Bitcoin and all that, okay? So once you get to this section, 
Now, what you want to do is to select the pair that you like to trade. Now, in order to do that, it's right at the far left, okay? On Binance here, the default currency that they have whenever you come to this page is always BTC USDT, okay? But let's say you want to trade a different crypto, let's say BNB. So you can switch that over here on the far left. So you click here on the search box, just search the currency. So let's say BNB, for example, okay? Select that and then make sure you select BNB USDT, okay? Because we're trading with the USDT, okay? This means that the profit that we make from this trade will be in USDT. So I select the BNB USDT, Reprocho, okay? And now it changed. All right, so next thing we want to do, if you go on the far right here at the top, you see where it says cross. Click on that. You just want to switch that to isolated. Okay, switch that to isolated. And then you also have your leverage right next to it there. So click on that and change your leverage. Now leverage here is what allows you to basically uh, trade with more money than you can afford, okay? And I always recommend to use 10X as if someone who's like beginner, you don't really, um, you know, you don't really know much about trading, you know, I recommend using 10X because it's safer. It makes it so you are at less risk of losing your money. So 10X or lower is better. If you're using high leverage, you put yourself at more risk of losing all your money, okay? So select 10X and then hit confirm. Now you're set. Um, One more thing actually. So, you know, when you bought your your crypto. So when you added money in, in your Binance account, okay, usually that money, when you buy it, it usually goes to your fiat and spot wallet. Okay. Now you can trade on Binance features if your money is, is in your fiat and spot wallet. So what you want to do is you want to transfer the money that's, that's in your fiat and spot wallet into your Binance features wallet. So in order to do that, you just want to scroll down to the bottom. Okay you'll see here it says transfer. So click on that. And then all we got to do is transfer from feet and spot and then to USDT and features. Okay. So make sure this is the options are selected. And then at the bottom where it says coin, make sure you select the USDT. That's the coin you like to transfer. And then the amount, you will write it there. Bam, 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 boom. And then boom, you're good to go. Just hit confirm. And then the money will be transferred into your Binance Futures wallet. Now you are ready. Okay, you are set to trade. Now the last thing you want to do, okay, before you place any, any trade, you want to analyze the chart. Never ever come to Binance and just come here and then randomly open uh a trade, don't just go buy long with sell short. No, you don't want to do that. You want to have a plan and you can do this by going to trading view. So trading view is the place where you can basically look at the price action of the currency that you like to trade. So if you go to tradingview.com, I'm already here, but it's pretty simple. Just type tradingview.com and then it will bring you to their home page here and then what you want to do go to where it says products okay touch that and then on the drop down menu say chart select chart and then it'll bring you over here and now you want to select the currency that you like to analyze right now the default is in euro usd i want to change that okay I'll change that to BTC, but you can change it to whatever currency that you like to trade. So BTC, USDT, P, okay, always make sure it's P. And then on here, you'll see there's a lot of option, okay? There's the option, and then on the far right, there's the exchange. Now, when you're analyzing the chart, you want to analyze the chart of the exchange that you're trading. So for ex this example, since I will be trading on Binance, I want to analyze the chart using the Binance exchange. So you see here, I want to select the Binance one. Okay. I select that. And now this is the chart of Bitcoin for the Binance exchange. Okay. So you just quickly analyze the chart. Honestly, not even quickly. You When you're analyzing the chart, you want to take your time. Okay. Because there are just so many things that you need to look at to, to just make sure that 
you know, be, that the trade you're going to enter is going to go your way, okay? And I have already made three videos where I have shared uh, three strategies, okay? I shared three strategies with you guys the past few weeks now that you can use to short Bitcoin, okay? These strategies have are very, very simple and effective. I've been using them. So if you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend you check it out. I will link them in the description box below for this video. So definitely check them out, okay? These strategies are very, very effective. It will quickly show you what you need to look at in the chart to be able to go and, and just sell short, okay? Sell short Bitcoin or any other crypto that you like to trade. So once you've analyzed the chart and everything and you're confident about the, the trade you like to place, okay? You have a plan, you know exactly where you want to enter. Now you go to Binance and you place your trade. Now, there are a few ways that you can place your trade. You can place the trade using limit. You can place it using market and then you can also place it using all these things, trailing stop and all that. But for this video, I'm going to just focus on limit and market just because it's, you know, it's less complicated and, you know, it will just get you in the market right away. Trailing stop and all that. I won't walk you guys through that in this video. But anyways, so with limit, when you're placing your trade using limit, it basically uh, allows you to place your trade in advance. So let's say, for example, you've analyzed the chart and you know exactly where you would like to short Bitcoin, okay? But Bitcoin is not there yet. So let's say you want to short Bitcoin right over here. You want to short Bitcoin. Currently, Bitcoin is at 16,843, okay? So you believe that once Bitcoin gets to uh, 17,000, for example, once Bitcoin gets to 17,000, you believe that the price is going to start falling from there, okay? So, but right now, Bitcoin is not there. It's really, it's not at 17,000. It's like only right here, 16,800. You could do one thing. You could say, oh, I'm, you're going to just stare at your screen all day and wait till the price gets to 17,000 and then short. But let's say you don't have time for that. You don't have time to sit sit down in front of your computer all day to look at the chart. So what you can do is preset the order using the limit. So over here, you just enter the price, okay? This is the price of Bitcoin. What price of Bitcoin you like to show it from? So the example we said 17,000. So you put 17,000 right here, okay? And then, uh, so this is BNB I'm using. So yeah, the price of BNB, you know what, let me just switch it to Bitcoin to make this less complicated. So BTC USDT, okay. So I'll put the price of Bitcoin right here, 17,000. And then the size is the size of Bitcoin that I would like to trade with, okay. So I put that here, let's just say for example, one Bitcoin. And then when I put here at the bottom, you see where it says sell short. Below sell short, it tells me the cost. This is the amount of money that I need to be able to trade one Bitcoin, okay? So yeah, the more Bitcoin that I'm using to trade with, the higher amount of money that I need, right? So you see, when I switch it to three BTC, now it's 5,000 USDT that I need. Keep in mind though, you can you trade with as much money that you need. You don't need all this high amount to trade with. You can even trade with literally, uh, ten dollar in order to trade with this low amount you just make sure you, you select uh 0 0.01 or something like the numbers have to be a small percentage of bitcoin and usually you type it using 0, 0.0 and then any number after that you see when i type 0 0.01 when i go down it tells me i only need 17 dollars 17 dollars usd to trade with 0 0.01 uh, BTC. So you can just play around with the numbers and then it will tell you how much money that you need. Okay, so once you've done that, then at the bottom here, you wanna set your take profit. Your take profit is basically the price where you would like to exit the market and take the profit that you've made. So this here, you will be putting the price, okay? The price of, um, for this example, it would be Bitcoin. So since I'm shorting Bitcoin, I want to put um, 
a take profit that is lower than my entry point. So 17,000 is where I would like to short Bitcoin from and where I would like to exit. Obviously, since I'm shorting, it has to be lower than 17,000. So for example, I'll put 16,500. So when I enter the market at 17,000, okay, when Bitcoin gets here and it starts falling, I want to get out when Bitcoin gets to 16,500. And then you set your stop loss. Your stop loss would be the price that is above your entry. So let's say you're trading Bitcoin from 17,000. Now the stop loss would be any price above 17,000. This basically will prevent you from losing more money than you would like to, okay? You have to analyze the chart to be able to, to know where to set your stop loss. And once you've set your stop loss, you take profit and everything, then you are ready. You just place sell short, okay? I'll quickly, I'll quickly do that right now. So I'll just change this to 0 0.1, okay? And then I'll hit sell short. I put my take profit, my stop loss will say, this is just an example, okay? It will say 17,300 will be my stop loss. Sell short. Once I sell short, my trade has been open. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see it. So you see here where it says open orders. When I click on that, now my order has been placed, okay? This, an example of this is like, you know, when you go to like McDonald's, Tim Hortons or KFC, whatever, right? You place your order at the cashier. And now you're going to have to wait in line for them to give you your uh, the order that you order. So basically, that's what, what I did. Placing your order using limit is basically like that. I've placed my order. Now my order is there. It's just waiting for the market to get to 17,000. Once the market gets to 17,000, then my order will be delivered to me. It will go live and it goes live to the position. So you see where it says position. This is where my... Um, my order will go. And now my order is live. I'll be able to see the money that I am making or money that I am losing and a lot of other things. Pretty simple, right? That's one way to short Bitcoin is using limit. Now market, when you open a trade using market, this one allows you to basically enter the market right away. Okay. As soon as you place your trade, instead of the uh, trade going to open orders, it will automatically go to position. It will be live right away. So with limits, all you got to do is select the size of BTC that you like to trade with. So 0 0.01, for example, and then set my take profit stop loss. Uh, take profit will be 16,500 and then stop loss. Let's just say 17,300 and then just select sell short. And then you'll see what happened, my trade has been open automatically, okay? So I can see how much money that I am making right over here, and then a bunch of other information, which I will not be talking about in this video, but yeah, guys, that's basically it. Once you've made your money or if you lost money, the exchange will automatically close it for you, and yeah, that's how you short Bitcoin on Binance. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you did enjoy this video and found it valuable, make sure you like it. Okay. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day.